Alright, so here I got a battle against some dude. I'm using a team that Shofu gave me the other day. It's got Swords Dance, Zor, um, Bandit Dragonite, uh, Swords Dance, uh, Gliscor, Standard Magnezone, and Tyranitar, and then a Scarf Mints. The other dude, he's running a couple weird things, but um, I'm kind of worried about his stupid Star Raptor and the Mian Xiao, because usually Gliscor is a pretty decent counter to those two, but. This one doesn't run any defensive investment at all, so it's not going to be able to take Brave Birds or Storm Edges. So, I need to look out for that. I'm just going to lead with Scizor. Figured he might lead with um, Kajando, Mian Shao thingy. And I could pretty much, um, you know, scare it away with the Bullet Punch. But he decides to lead off with Fortress. I don't have you turn on this guy, so I'm going to just go, on, go ahead and switch out to Magnezone. But um, he knows I'm going to do that. So he goes to Volt Switch and I really don't care. So now he brings out Kajando and I'm going to go into Salamence expecting the high jump kick. But he actually goes for U-turn and gets a crit. It really sucks because that did a fuckload. Fuckload more than it should have done otherwise. So now he's going to go into Fortress. I don't think a Gyro Wall should be able to kill me yet. So I'm going to go for Fire Fang. And it does like 50 some shit percent. But Leftovers... Um, gains them back to where it's probably not going to be a 2 hit KO. So I'm going to go into Magazone here just in case um, he decides to stay in. And he does, so that Fortress is dead. Thankfully, he didn't get up Self Rock because now my Dragonite and my Salamence are going to have a little bit easier time switching in. So um, in comes that big threat, the, the Mian Shao, and I'm going to go into Salamence again. And that does way too much because Salamence is pretty much already dead. So. I was trying to make him think that I wasn't um, scarfed, but I guess he knew I, he knew I was scarfed. So I went for the outrage, trying to catch him off guard. That didn't work though, because he sent in a Cresselia, and even though Cresselia is a defensive beast, that shit still does like 80% after two outrages. So now I'm going to go into Tyranitar. He might go into Mian Xiao, or he might not. Um, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rock, because like I said, the Star Raptor is kind of a threat. And if I don't have Stealth Rock up, then that thing's probably going to destroy me. So, I go for the Stealth Rock, and I pretty much skip a big-ass fucking Star War here, where all he does is Moonlight, 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 and trying to stall out my Tyranitar. So, now I'm going to go into Magnezone, because I know I can set up a sub on it, and then again, I cut off like about 20 turns there. Well, I don't think I cut it out yet. Now I did, because he kept on fucking recovering and not dying he gets like a special defense drop on me here he makes a pretty decent move he goes to the Mian Xiao, goes for u-turn break my sub and now he's gonna go into latios as i go for thunderbolt but i get parahaxed and i guess that was a decent move because now he gets to break my sub and his latios you know is at pretty much full hp but i don't know if i would have risked that because maybe the magnezone does have high high base defense so the u-turn might not have broken my sub but he, I guess he doesn't really care because his Latios is called mine, so he could pretty much set up on me. So now I'm going to go into Gliscor since I assumed, like I said, I assumed this guy wasn't going to be able to do too much. And he should get to be KO'd by a Stone Edge from the Mian Shot. So I pretty much went to that thing just to check what kind of move he was having. If he had like HP fighting or like Surf or something. But he uses Dragon Pulse and the HP, the hidden power is neutral against Gliscor. Tells me it's fire, so I could bring in my Tyranitar and basically trap it with Pursuit. I don't want to go for Crunch just in case he he uh, switches out to his Mian Xiao. The Pursuit is uh, a little more beneficial to me since um, it's pretty much guaranteed damage and I know I can revenge kill with my Bandit Dragonite the next turn. So yeah, here I run a Calc and Bandit Extreme Speed does like 96% max. So unless I get max damage, I'm going to need a little bit more damage on that guy. And at that range where he's at right now, I should be able to win a KO with an extreme speed. But he decides to go for a fake out, and then he U-turns here for a really random reason. I guess he figured I'd go into Dragonite, since I later found out that his Mian Xiao isn't carrying a, a Rock-type move. So my Dragonite pretty much walls him. So I guess... What he was thinking there is that I would go into Dragonite, but I had no reason to do that since at that point of the battle, I didn't know that his, his he had two fighting moves, U-turn and then fake out. So, yeah, there was basically no reason for me to switch into Dragonite. I don't 
care though. I'm not complaining because that pretty much means I win because I still got two priority users and he's got two frail guys. So a bullet punch, I know I could live a high jump kick and I live it with one HP. I don't think it mattered at this point because like I said, I still have my bandit to, um, to call Dragonite with extreme speed and that should be able to fuck up the Star Raptor and the Mian Xiao. So he decides to go for some weird shit here. That's basically the end of the battle. Pretty much finish off his shit with priority the rest of the game. This is pretty much going to be the last battle I upload for like two or three weeks because finals and then I got to work in spring break and then other, I don't know, other shit. But yeah, comment, rate, all that shit. I'm out.